Hi guys, Captain Nick Pavlakis here with Marine Max in St. Petersburg, Florida. Today I'm going to be going over some lift basics. There's a few different ways that you can store your boat if you're on a trailer in a garage. Maybe if it's a larger boat, it's going to be in the water, but especially here in Florida, one of the most popular ways is going to be keeping your boat on its own lift, whether that's at a marina like Marine Max St. Pete, or if you're lucky enough behind your house where you have your own personal lift, that really is about as good as it gets. So we're gonna be going over some Lift Kept Boat 101 basic training. Right here, most of these lifts are gonna be on an up and down system right there. Bring it up like so, bring it down. You see that you have your green light there. That means that there's power. Keith's gonna get into that in a minute. And of course, some things to make sure that your boat's safe. You wanna make sure that you call a lift company, a local lift company, nice and reputable. Come out, adjust your bunks. Maybe even they could get the measurements for the boat to make sure that it's not sitting on any of the chines. And how I like to store these boats, right here you notice I have the I-beams right at the dock level. That way in the event that there is a storm or something and it's going side to side, you have your I-beams hitting your dock and your boat's not really rocking side to side. Now, you didn't see him earlier, but over here we got Captain Keith and Keith's gonna go over Lift Basics 102. Hey guys, uh, I was just listening to Nick and just coming up with a couple different things. So in a storm, you wanna raise your boat all the way up, get it up as high as you can safely and then secure the boat and the lift to the, to the pilings. Because Nick was talking about that swing, you don't want it chewing up your dock. So that'll keep it up, keep it from moving around. Um, Nick mentioned the power to the lift. Make sure you shut it off when you're done at the end of the day before you leave the dock. Because if you take that remote, you stick it in your pocket, you walk up the dock, you go sit down in your house and you sit on that remote, down goes your boat or maybe bring it all the way up and then the cables bind up and break when they go up into the top. Um, another thing he mentioned about having a reputable uh, lift company come out, have your lift serviced regularly just like you do your, your boats. You know you do the 100 hour service, the annual service. You want to do that. You want to have them check the cables, grease the fittings and all that stuff. Your motor shouldn't be whining and screaming. And then Kelly doesn't know about this but just something I saw as we stand in here. If you look at the PVC poles, the uprights, so on the bow of this boat, this one's bent over a little bit up there towards the, the bow of the boat. And if you look to the boat to his left a little bit, that PVC pipe is snapped off. It's loud too. All right, exactly right. So when you're raising your boat, make sure it comes up level and you don't get a cockeyed on there. Because if those PVC pipes get hung up underneath those I-beams, that thing snaps. It sounds like a shotgun on, gun <laughs> going off right next to your ear. So uh, just watch your poles, watch your uprights when you're bringing a boat up. So uh, back to Nick and uh, thanks for watching guys. Yeah, one more thing before we get out of here. A lot of these lifts have auto controls that you can just hit the button once and it'll go down, it'll keep going, it'll go up and it'll keep going. And that's great, it's convenient because these lifts aren't breaking any speed records by any means. But if you're gonna have that, you need to be careful because if you have your boat on a lift, you put it down, you walk away, next thing you know you have a boat that is one, floating off of your lift, and two, it might be hitting the ground and it's gonna unravel your cables up there, which can be a huge hassle. Also, if you're in a boathouse, some lessons are learned the hard way, you hit it up, next thing you know, you've got your T-top going through the roof. So you heard it from me, that way you don't need to find it, find it out yourself. Once again, I'm Captain Nick Pavlakis here at Marine Max in St. Pete. Captain Keith Lake, a man that needs no okay. introduction. And thanks for joining us today and stand by for plenty more boating tips. If you have any ideas, go ahead, drop them in the comments and we'll make sure to get to them ASAP. Bye guys.